Hello. Welcome to our garden. It's the 18th today. And at long last, my eco deck finally arrived. So this is the decking that instead of putting down a concrete slab or building up just slabs to be able to put your sheds, offices, all that sort of jazz on it. Um, it's a different type of product. Something that I've looked into a little bit and thought this was worth trying. Um, it arrived. Now, this is a retrospective start to the video because in my excitement, I didn't actually record an intro. I was planning, I'm recording the chap coming down the driveway from DPD, handing me my nice big box and then unboxing it and showing you what's in the box. But instead, I turned into a little boy at Christmas and just had to get it. I was like, wow. So it's all installed. I do need to get some more gravel, but as a spoiler, you'll see that in a moment. But yeah, so for you, I'll see you outside in the garden. Right, so, eco deck. That's what's going to save me. Now, with these, you've got, I have to come a bit closer, these little braces that you knock out. Oh, these little pegs come in, they slot in, connect to the next one. The back section, you're supposed to slip a hole in the membrane, then this gets wedged down into the ground, two of these slot in onto that, and that's how you lock it in place. I'm not gonna do that. You all right? <laughs> My daughter's just come home. Um, so that's the way that I'm gonna be positioning these, but I'm gonna be locking them in. Instead of using these, I'm just gonna be using cable ties. So I'll show you what I've done so far. I've laid them out and started cable tying them, but I'll time lapse the rest. So, this is the eco deck laid out. You can see I've started putting some cable ties in these ones. Now, I didn't realise just how much bigger this was than the 10 feet by 6 feet. And it doesn't fit in my frame. So I've knocked that side out. And you can see that's taken back a bit further. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to put... I've got another three slabs, one, two, and then another one. Rather than laying them out in the correct orientation, I'm going to lay them out this way. That section is just going to get filled with gravel. The office has got bearers that go all the way across, so I don't think that's going to cause me any issues at all. It's all going to get filled level with gravel anyway, so that should be absolutely fine. So, my plan now, I've got to try and get this all cable tied and secured into place. And I'm going to go pick up one of my other kids from school, and then when I come back, I'll be able to fill it all with gravel, get it all nice and level, and yeah, jobs are good. So that's the first three bags. Should have enough to do the rest. That's three tiles. It's roughly one bag per tile. Seems to be working out quite nicely. I'm back from the school run, so time to get this finished. I got a little bit close to running out of stones. There's a couple of tiny little low spots. You can see they're a bit darker. So I might end up picking up one more gram, uh, one more bag of this gravel, but that's it done. And it is solid. It is not moving at all. Right, so the base is done. I've got some bags to clear up, obviously. We are now ready for the office. I'd say this was really simple to put together. 
really, really simple. The only thing I'd say which has surprised me was just the size. I assumed that it was going to be, well, 10 by 6 because that's what it was for. Um, it's more than that. So if I'd use this stuff again, which I think I probably will, I just need to account for a little bit extra space on it. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased. And we'll see how it looks with my office on it. Thanks for joining. See you on the next part.